Schools in the national capital, Delhi, will remain shut till the 5th of October at a time when Delhi is in the midst of um, a major second spike as far as COVID is concerned. The government has scrapped the decision to partially reopen schools. A very important announcement in light of the numbers we are seeing. The Delhi government says no partial reopening of schools from the 21st of September. Delhi schools will remain shut for students. Teachers and staff can be called to the schools but online classes will continue. My colleague Akshay Dongre joins us for more on this. Akshay, the bottom line over here is there's a recognition that the COVID situation is still fairly out of hand. Uh, so therefore, as far as the government is concerned, no schools right now, but everything else remains open, right? Well, well, yes, exactly. And in fact, uh, school uh, schools have always uh, remained uh, one of the top priority of the Delhi government because uh, we, whenever we talk to the people as far as the Delhi government is concerned, they have taken a lot of lessons from what has happened in countries like France and countries in Europe where the schools were opened up and then a lot of cases were coming up among the students who were going to schools every day. So definitely that's a that's a very well calculated uh, decision that the go Delhi government has taken because uh, if, we, if we take the numbers that have been coming up in the national capital for the past one week, they have almost been above 4,000 every day and that is uh, you know a very high number as far as Delhi is concerned because even at the peak at the last peak that we saw in the middle of June uh, we did not see numbers coming up every day above 4,000 however the Delhi government is saying that they are testing more but one thing is fairly very very clear at this point in time and that is that the COVID is uh, still here it's uh, you know a spread across the national capital so it, it would not be very safe for the students to go out uh, sit in the schools uh, so the, the decision to open schools uh, from 24 1st of September has now been delayed till at least 5th of October and that is a big relief uh, for the parents who were uh, you know fairly worried about the health and the safety of their children. All right and uh, so the government says what online classes conti can continue even though as we know even in, in, in urban centers like Delhi there's a huge digital divide there are so many children who don't have access to smartphones that remains a continuing worry. Well, well, yes, exactly. And uh, because we all know the, the uh, social structure as far as cities like the national capital is concerned, one area is, uh, you know, fairly developed. Then there are areas where people do not have access to internet. They do not have, you know, uh, lines of internet. They do not have Wi-Fi connectivity uh, broadly in the national capital as well. So it is a very, very difficult task for, uh, you know, the students to catch up with uh, other, other, other schools, other uh, students who are, who, who have the accessibility as far as these uh, resources are concerned. So that uh, definitely is a, a major, major uh, flaw as far as the entire online structure is concerned. Uh, even today, the Delhi High Court has. Uh, uh, given a decision that uh, the schools that are not being aided have to uh, you know provide uh, uh, gadgets and have to provide internet uh, uh a connectivity to the students, uh, to the poorer sections as far as the society is concerned so that even they can uh, continue with their academics, they can continue with their studies and uh, catch up as far as the, the entire loss of uh, syllabus is concerned. All right, thanks very much for joining us with those details. So schools in the national capital will not open in September as uh, the expectation was they will uh, remain shut till the 5th of uh, October. The government scrapping its decision to partially open schools, a recognition of the COVID situation. Uh, schools to remain shut for students, teachers and staff can be called in, but online classes will continue as we've been pointing out. That's hardly an ideal situation.